Good morning, family, staff, and community members. I am pleased to welcome you to the 23rd commencement exercises for the High School for Law and Public Service. I am Mr. Brent, this year's parent coordinator. Parents, here I am. Finally, we meet each other. <laughs> We are delighted that you have joined us in celebration of our student accomplishments on this beautiful day, despite the fact that we almost got rained on, right? So we, ask, we kindly ask that you remain seated as our graduates enter the field. Música. Sí, 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 Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train for anywhere. Just a city boy, born and raised in safety trucks. He took the midnight train going anywhere. Thank you. 
Will everyone please rise for the presentation of colors and the Pledge of Allegiance. Together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. Thank you. Please be seated. This day is very special for all of us for many different reasons. Congrats, guys, on making it through high school. Can I hear the joy? Can I hear the joy, the excitement? Yes. Remember, this is a celebration. It has been a long road, but you guys are now ready to move on to even greater things. The commencement is as special as I am sure the person I am about to invite to the podium feels about this momentous occasion. So please join me in welcoming our beloved principal of the High School for Law and Public Service, 
Miss Paula left. Good morning, families and friends. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate our class of 2022. A special thank you to our teachers and support staff for ensuring that class of 2022 received the support needed to push through and be able to sit here today. I witnessed how some students sat in Ms. Brown's office in YABC and in classroom getting one-to-one -one help completing assignment to the last minute. Their families and I truly appreciate your passion and thank you for not giving up on our kids. Now, class of 2022, I cannot further express my happiness as I witness the result of all the hard work you have put on over the past couple of years, especially the challenges you have faced with amazing grace, strength, and pride. Living in such unprecedented times has made us celebrate life a small yet important aspect. Looking back to my time as the principal here at HSOPS, your remarkable personalities and efforts have inspired us in ways you wouldn't even think possible. And today, we celebrate each and every one of you. You exemplify our core values, participation, academic achievement, community and teamwork, and service, setting high expectations for yourself and future students of our school. I was overjoyed to see these values in action when you interacted with your teachers and peers on field trip and in after school club. I was delighted to witness their hard work and dedication put in your academic leading to this commemoration of your success. Now it is time to celebrate the end of your high school years and the beginning of a new chapter in your life. You may, never for, you may never forget that every single one of you has abilities and talents that you must continue to nurture. Your hard work is meant to result in prosperity and fortune. Never stop learning. Through life, keep in mind that what you do does matter, as Mr. Garfinko will say. You make the difference in making a world a better place for you and everyone around you. Always reach for the start and now and know that anything is possible if you set your heart to it and you're willing to work hard enough for what you desire. Buenos dias, familias y amigos. Gracias por unirse a nosotros hoy para celebrar nuestra clase del 2022. Un agradecimiento especial a nuestros maestros y personal de apoyo por garantizar que la clase del 2022 reciba el apoyo necesario para avanzar y poder sentarse aquí con nosotros hoy. Fui testigo de cómo algunos estudiantes se sentaban en la oficina de la señora Brown, en YABC y en los salones de clase para recibir ayuda individualizada para completar las tareas hasta el último minuto. Nuestras familias y yo apreciamos su pasión. Gracias por no rendirse con, nosotros, con nuestros estudiantes. Ahora clase de 2022, no puedo expresar más mi felicidad al ser testigo del resultado de todo el arduo trabajo que ha realizado lo, durante los últimos años, especialmente los desafíos que ha enfrentado con asambrosa gracia, fuerza y orgullo. Vivir en tiempos sin precedentes no has hecho celebrar los aspectos pequeños pero importantes de la vida. Mirando hacia atrás a mi tiempo como directora en la escuela HSOPS, sus notables personalidades y esfuerzos no han inspirado de una manera que no podrían ser posible. Y hoy celebramos a todos y cada uno de ustedes. Ustedes ejemplificaron los valores fundamentales de la escuela participación, logro académico, comunidad, trabajo en equipo y servicio, estableciendo altas expectativas para ustedes y los futuros estudiantes de HSOPS. Me lleno de alegría ver estos valores en acción cuando interactuaban con sus maestros y compañeros en excursiones y clubes extracurriculares. Estuve encantada de presenciar el arduo trabajo y la dedicación 
en sus estudios que llevaron a esta conmemoración de su éxito hoy. Ahora es el momento de celebrar el final de sus años de escuela secundaria y el comienzo de nuestro capítulo en sus vidas. Nunca olviden que cada uno de ustedes tiene habilidades y talentos que deben seguir cultivando. Su arduo trabajo está destinado a generar prosperidad y fortuna. Nunca dejen de aprender. A medida que avanzan por la vida, tengan en cuenta que lo que hacen sí importa, como le diría su maestro el señor Garfinkel. Ustedes hacen la diferencia al hacer del mundo un lugar mejor para ustedes y para todos los que les rodean. Alcancen siempre las estrellas y sepan que todo es posible si pone su corazón en todo y está dispuesto a trabajar lo suficientemente duro por lo que desea. Congratulations, class of 2022. Felicidades, clase del 2022. Everybody looks so beautiful. Uh, so thank you, Mrs. Webb, for your inspirational words. And we are overjoyed for all of our graduates. And we're extremely proud of our valedictorian and our salutatorian for this year's graduating class. Our salutatorian is an exceptional young lady. She has made the most of her time here, both at HSLPS and on campus. She's interned for our community-based clinic, held leadership positions in JROTC in mock trial, and is also a member of our student government cabinet and the National Honor Society. Her drive and commitment has allowed her to graduate an entire year ahead of schedule. Please welcome our salutatorian for the class of 2022, Ms. Salamata Diallo. Good morning, my name is Sala Monta Diallo. You'll be happy to hear that my speech will not have any sports metaphors because unfortunately, after being here for three years, I still don't understand how sports work despite us having really successful sports teams. The fact that I'm standing in front of you today is a product of a million small decisions. Some I made for myself and others were made for me. But I'm grateful now more than ever to be here with all of you. Thank you to everyone who has helped me get here. Every teacher, staff member, mentor, group partner, and even my two annoying brothers. But I'd especially like to thank my parents who encourage me every single day to work hard and study harder because I can't sing and well, not everyone can be Mariah Carey. My time at the high school for law and public service was very unorthodox. In fact, I didn't think it was the right fit for me, coming from an art, art school. It's true, I wasn't very enthusiastic about attending law and public service, but my attitude soon changed after I found a sense of purpose here. I was a mock trial team member, an ROTC cadet, a student government cabinet and team member, a peer mentee, and well, I'll stop there because I can't possibly list my entire resume. But what I can do, is recognize that these conditions, these connections to the community really helped me settle in for a while, but were unfortunately taken away from me at the beginning of the pandemic. And I'm not the only one. Millions of people lost jobs, homes, and family to the pandemic, which is why I'm grateful to be here with you today. I didn't think we'd last this long into the school year, but I'm certainly glad we did. We went on trips, we had a prom, sorry to the class of 2020 and 2021. And now we are here at our graduation, our last few moments as high school students. I'm grateful yet so worried because our social political climate is trickier to navigate than ever before. We are expected to fix it, but it doesn't mean we'll fix it all tomorrow or the day after that. But somewhere along our life journeys, we will each contribute to the fabric that saves humanity. We, the future teachers, doctors, lawyers, electricians, Marines, police officers, influencers, makeup artists, all have a hand in leaving this world better than we entered it. 
Because we are being sent off into a scary world, I have luckily collected three magical tips to keep us going. Number one, take it one step at a time. Like I said before, we won't wake up tomorrow with all the answers, but if you give yourself a chance to take in what life is throwing at you, stop, breathe, you'll find a way to move forward. Number two, do what is best for you. You'll get lots of advice and suggestions on what you can and should do, and oftentimes how you should do it. But always remember, you are the author of your story. You ultimately choose in which direction to lead your life. That initiative and accountability will lead you to success. Number three, break some rules. High school is never easy, and we faced a greater set of challenges. A global pandemic, uprisings, insurrections, climate crises, all creating an even more fractured and polarized world. Our high school years came with a lot of trouble, but there's a difference between trouble that happens to you and trouble you get into on purpose. Now, don't worry, parents. I'm not encouraging my classmates to go out tonight and make bad choices. I'm, I'm encouraging, I'm referring to the good kind that social justice giant John Lewis mentions. He says to get into good trouble, necessary trouble, and help redeem the soul of America. It's your job, like the middle child, to make a ruckus, question the status quo. So do not be a blindly conforming sheep. Be difficult and argue. When the world fights you, kick it right back. Thank you. Now, Principal Lev will present Salamata, an award for being the salutatorian for the class of 2022. Please let's give him a round of applause. Congrats, Salamata. What a delightful speech. Let's give her another round of applause, please. All right, so traditionally, the senior class chooses a song, and this year is no different than the others. The class of 2022 has chosen the following song as their class song. And we invite our graduates to please rise. And for you, parents, family, staff members, and friends, to join us as they sing, This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. Just so you guys know, the lyrics are on the back of the program. Please rise and join us as we celebrate. I am not a stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are but I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for us. For we are glorious. When the sharpest words want to cut me down. I'm going to send the blood, going to drown them out. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me, look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen, I make no apologies. This is me. Oh, 
ます。The sharp words wanna cut me down. I'm gonna send the blood, gonna drown them out. This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be. This is me. See you later. All right, before we move move on, can I hear for the class of 2022? Come on, this is a celebration. You should be happy. Can I hear from the parents, families, friends? There you go. This is a graduation. I've learned to be a Please be seated. Thank you. Run away. As their graduates begin their next journey, it is customary to choose a keynote speaker at their commencement. This year. Our chosen keynote speaker is a proud graduate of the class of 2011 at the High School for Law and Public Service. The student here at HSLPS, Leslie Grujon, was a star athlete and a member of the Student Mentoring Program, Student Government, and the National Honor Society. After graduating, she went on to complete her bachelor's in English literature and her master's to the music business at NYU for Steinhardt. Um, As an artist and repertoire sing, representative um, of Warner Chapel Music, she oversees the artistic development of recording artists and songwriters across different music genres all around the world. I am honored to introduce to you our keynote speaker for the graduating class of 2022, Ms. Leslie Grujon. Good morning, class of 2022, family, friends, and teachers. I'm honored to be here. I can't believe it's been 11 years since I graduated from this high school. Maybe my sister's right. She's sitting over there. Maybe I am getting old. When I think back on my years as a student at High School for Law and Public Service, I remember the great times I had with my friends, and my peers inside and outside of the classroom. The countless hours I spent in the gym with the girls varsity basketball team and then going out to Popeyes to celebrate a big win. I remember the extra time the teachers dedicated to my education after normal school hours. But I also remember that I wasn't the captain of the basketball team and I wasn't the valedictorian at my graduation. The only title I won my senior year was Class Clown. I say this to say that 18-year-old Leslie, who was sitting where you are today, never could have imagined being asked by two of her favorite teachers, Ms. Santos and Ms. Villa, to return 11 years later and be the keynote speaker at your high school graduation. After I accepted the invitation, which didn't take long to do, 
I started thinking about what I've done in the last 11 years to make me worthy of such an honor. And I've got to say, one thing I've done that by far outnumbers the times that I've succeeded is the number of times that I've failed. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm here today because Ms. Santos and Ms. Villa believe there's something that I've gotten right. What that is, I'm happy to share with you. Growing up, I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. It's the reason why I attended high school for law and public service. Being a student here allowed me to explore that interest through mentorships with lawyers at some of the country's top firms. During my college years at Binghamton University, law remained my focus. But the closer I got to graduation, the more I became unsure about law school. I took some time to reflect on why I had pursued a career in law in the first place. What drove me here? And the answer was music. I always knew that I wanted to be an advocate for artists, songwriters, and producers. But in my mind, I thought that being an entertainment lawyer was the only way to do that. After the realization that my true passion lied in music, I knew I had some homework to do. Because what did I know about the music business? Nothing. Now, I come from a family of immigrants. My parents came to the United States from the Dominican Republic, and I knew the expectations. There you go, Dominicans in the house. And I knew the expectations that they had of me to be not only the first college graduate in our family, but they had already told all of Washington Heights that their daughter was going to be a lawyer. So you can imagine the anxiety I felt and the look of concern on my parents' face when I told them that I was going to go off course and explore a new career path in music as an executive. Luckily, I've been blessed with two supportive parents who, as traditional as they are, were open to giving me the time and space that I needed to do the work and find the career that was right for me. So that summer, 2015, after college graduation, I got to work. That meant doing hours of research every day and applying to internships that would help me learn about the music industry. That summer, I missed out on a lot of parties and remained focused on my goal, and it paid off. One Tuesday night, I received a call from, for an internship position at Tidal that completely changed my life. During my time at Tidal, I took full advantage of the, of the opportunity that I had been given. I was always willing to help. I knocked on doors and made my way around each department in the company, learning as much as I could. But sometimes that isn't enough, and life throws you curveballs. After 10 months, what I thought was my dream job was taken away. I was let go. Getting to the point of doing what you love is not going to happen overnight, and it won't come easy. Now, we established that you don't have to be the best or the smartest in the room to succeed, but you do have to be relentless. There was still a lot for me to learn, but having the support of my family and being from the greatest city in the world, I knew that I had the resources I needed to pursue my goal of becoming an a &R. Now, some of you may be asking, what is an a &R? Which one of you has heard Drake's new album or the song Beyonce just dropped this week? An A&R is responsible for finding artists and developing them to be the stars you know today. There's a lot of work that takes place before you stream a song on Spotify or hear it on the radio. Now, going back to me losing my job. How was I going to become an A&R? I was unemployed. I felt defeated, embarrassed. What was I going to do, quit? No. At this point, I knew that the music industry is where I belonged, and I didn't give up on my dream. I decided to go back to school and get my master's in music business at NYU. One thing that my parents always reminded me is the importance of education. 
and it being the one thing that no one can ever take from you. I knew getting a master's degree would be a challenge, but my, de my determination to grow was larger than my fear of failure. I know what some of you are feeling. Some of you are filled with excitement, eager to start a new chapter in your life. Some of you may be anxious and fearful of the unknown. Both are okay. And you will continue to have these feelings every time you grow. The key word here is grow. You are growing, leveling up. And this comes with discomfort. Do not back down from it. If I quit following my dreams when things got tough, I would not be where I am today. Today, I'm an international a and at a global music company called Warner Music Group. And I've been lucky to represent and meet many artists around the world. Some of them you might know, including Rao Alejandro, Fabio Foreign, Cardi B, Jay-Z, and the writers and producers behind their songs. I've also been able to travel the world and visit countries in Latin America, like Argentina, Brazil, and several countries in Europe, including England, Ireland, Spain, Germany, and France. I'm blessed to say that I'm living out my dream in a career that combines two of my passions, music and travel. I'm not saying all of this to brag. As someone who was raised in Washington Heights by immigrant parents, I'm here to share what is possible for you. If you take a moment to think about everything you've done to get here, was it easy? No. You had to put in the time and the work. This will continue to be true for anything you decide to do moving forward. So make sure that you love it. There are so many resources available to you. Use them. Now, okay, guys, now here's the part where I actually sound old. Social media isn't only for posting a selfie or watching your friend's stories. I promise there is so much more you can do with it. I personally used Instagram to help get my job. After getting my master's, I contacted the network I built of music industry professionals, which included everyone I met through my internships, and I let them know that I finished my studies and was ready to work. But I didn't stop there. I didn't just rely on the people I knew and hope that one day they would reply to my email and say, Leslie, we have a job for you. No, I knew there had to be more I could do. So I went on Instagram, looked for other professionals that I didn't know, and I slid into their DMs. One DM on Instagram led to an interview that led to another interview that led to another interview where I was given the job on the spot. Before that moment, I had worked as a lifeguard. I worked retail as a sales rep. I worked as a receptionist at a doctor's office. As you already know, I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. I did all of these jobs that seemed random and at times like a setback. But never did I lose sight of what I truly wanted. I knew those jobs were only placeholders on my path to success. As long as I focused on my goals, exhausted all of my resources, and worked hard. One more thing I will say about Instagram and other social media is do not use it to compare yourself or your journey to anyone else's. It may be challenging because everyone seems to post all of the good times and none of the difficult, but we all go through them. Every obstacle that came my way after graduating high school, even when it felt like it was pushing me backwards, it was actually propelling me forward only because I kept reminding myself that as long as I did what I needed to do to stay on course with my goals, that I would eventually achieve them. And you will too. Your journey is yours alone, and it's timed just for you. Since I was in your seat 11 years ago, I have gone through many ups and downs. I have been confident, I've been confused, I've been discouraged, and I've been persistent. If there's anything that you take away from my story today, take the following. Do not be afraid of change. 
Be curious. Always be willing to learn. Dream, persevere, and repeat. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, Ms. Grillon. Can I hear it one more time for this inspiring speech, please? High school graduation is just the beginning of our journey to success. At this time, we would like to announce the presentation of major awards to our graduates. It is my pleasure to invite to the podium our assistant principal, Ms. Alexandra Brown, who will be presenting the next set of awards. Thank you very much, Mr. Brands. Good morning, everybody, on this wonderful day. Congratulations. It is such a pleasure to see you all sitting here, all of you. And honestly, I have a great seat. You look fabulous. You look terrific. And I'm so proud of you. Let's take a minute, though, to applaud uh, the parents in the back and on the side. It's been a pleasure to partner with you. Thank you so much for trusting us with your children. So um, I have the pleasure of announcing the Triple C Award. The Triple C Awards is bestowed upon students by the Attorney General of New York State that recognizes the courage, character, and commitment of outstanding students. It is my pleasure to present the Triple C Awards to the following 2022 graduates. Please come up when I call your name. Sara Alshuga. Yeah, congratulations. Send to the right to stay here. Okay. Uh, when I call you up, we'll give you the reward and then ask you to stand to the side, please. Salamata Diallo. Okay. Ronik Misan. Sorry, they're in these envelopes. Okay. Tiffany Murillo. Gabriella Ogwejia for And Sadiel Ramirez. Let's have a round of applause for all of our Triple C winners. Go ahead. 
Also, each year, the New York City Council bestows the speaker the Speaker's Achievement Award to students who demonstrate academic excellence and commitment to public service in New York City. This year's City Council Speaker's Achievement Awards go to Noelle Almonte, Smile, smile, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sam here. And Zahir Williams. And before I step down, I just want to give the opportunity to the class of 22 to give a round of applause for your teachers who have worked so hard with you for four years. They're out there somewhere. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Now I am pleased to invite our assistant principal, Mr. Dionysis Aldeos, to present the next round of awards. What a blessed day. Thank you so much for being here, parents and teachers, and congratulations to seniors. Another round of applause for your career. Congratulations. So I'm going to be presenting the Science Supervisors Association of New York City Awards. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're going to be recognizing outstanding achie academic achievement in science over the course of students, a student's high school career. So this is all four years. The following two students have maintained the highest average amongst their peers in science classes across all four years of high school. Our first recipient is Sarah Alshuga. <laughs> And our second recipient of the Science Award for all four years is Veronique Messa. The next award is a very special award is going to go out to one of our parents. The next award comes from the Council for School Supervisors and Administrators. These awards honor the parents and students whose qualities of spirit and involvement in their schools characterize them as leaders. Parents are an important partner in the school community, and it's important to recognize their leadership and devotion to our children. Please welcome, help me welcome this year's Parent Leadership Award recipient, the mother of our salutatorian Salamata Diallo, Ms. Chiare Ba.
<laughs> the next CSA award goes to two students who demonstrate leadership. The first student is an advocate, not only for himself, but for his classmates. He has demonstrated leadership in his classes and has actively engaged in the informal mentoring of his peers. Our first CSA award for, for student leadership is presented to Junior Chavez. Stay here, stay here. We have one more. The next student is a member of our yearbook team, student government, the student government cabinet, and has been involved in our boys' mentoring program throughout his high school career. The second CSA award for student leadership is presented to Zaire Williams. Hi. Enjoy. Now, as we are the High School for Law and Public Service, our last, our last award is for public service. Each year, the New York City Council bestows the Speaker's Achievement Award to students who demonstrate academic excellence and commitment to public service in New York City. This, our last award is the Blanche Swartz Award. The wind got the page. This award recognizes students with a high level of motivation and the determination to succeed. This young lady has also been an active member of the student government cabinet. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of this year's Blanche Schwartz Award, Miss Mary Jennifer Oguijafar. <laughs> Congratulations to parents, teachers, and of course, to our seniors. Congrats, guys. For a last set of awards, let's welcome Chief John Sakura, Commander Michael Payne, and the New York Council Navy League representative, Ms. Jessica Hitchin, to present the awards for our JROTC members. Give them a round of applause.
Good morning, graduates, faculty, friends, and families. I'm here representing the New York Council Navy League. We're a nonprofit organization that supports the Navy, Coast Guard, Marine Corps, and U.S. flag Merchant Marine. One of the most important things we do is support organizations that foster the next generation of our countries and our community's leaders. We do that here at George Washington through sponsorship of the Navy JROTC program. Each year we present some stipends to some top graduating cadets. And this year I am proud to present four to the uh, High School for Law and Public Service. The first cadet come up and receive a $500 stipend and our pride and thanks, Salamada Diallo. Excuse me. And you want to stay here so we can get all four of you together at the end. And our next outstanding cadet, Damon Tinsley. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, and number three, Gloria Lopez. Yes. Thank you. And number four, Tiffany Murillo. <laughs> you get all four kids. Well, And we've got one final award. The New York Council Navy League was founded 120 years ago at the encouragement of Theodore Roosevelt, who stood for the concepts of justice and fair play. In the spirit of those qualities, we would like to present the Theodore Roosevelt Youth Medal for Outstanding Cadet Achievement to Salamata Diallo. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. It's now time to introduce our valedictorian for the graduating class of 2022. But before I do, I believe it's worth mentioning how exceptional she is. I remember telling her, how proud are your parents? She's like, miss, they even invited my pastor. So shout out to the pastor if he's here. But all jokes aside, her commitment to her school community is demonstrated by her work with the Young Women's Empowerment Movement, her leadership of our school's mock trial team, a student government cabinet representative, as well as the president of our National Honor Society. Yes, woo! <laughs> Thank you. 
She is also a recipient of the prestigious Posse Scholarship. The Posse Foundation is extremely competitive and it identifies and recruits and trains individuals with extraordinary leadership potential. As a Posse Scholar, our valedictorian will receive a full tuition leadership scholarship to Franklin and Marshall. Please join me in giving it up for the class of 2022's valedictorians, Ms. Veronique Mesa. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning, families, friends, distinguished teachers and staffs, but most importantly, the beautiful class of 2022. Give it up for yourself. You're all welcome to the High School for Law and Public Service ceremony for the graduating class of 2022. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Veronique Mesa. It is truly an honor to be standing here in front of you this morning. First, I wanna thank God for giving me the strength and courage to keep going even when times were difficult. I also wanna thank my family for, keeping, for, for their continued sacrifice and trust that they've had in me. Special thank you to Principal Leff and Assistant Principal Haldales and the teachers, counselors, and staffs who have supported my ideas when I came forward. To the graduating class of 2022, each of us has an amazing and bright journey ahead of us. We have proven that we can beat the odds that are stacked against us. I am very, very proud of us, and you should be as well. For those of you who know me, you know that if you come to me in need of writing a 10-page essay, I would love to help you in a heartbeat. But if you ask me about Ditch Day, I will tell you it was a normal Tuesday at school. And trust me, it's not because I'm just that big of a nerd, but because, like many of you, becoming a first-generation graduate comes with its expectations. My dad once told me that when an opportunity shows itself to you, hold on to it because it will go as fast as it came. But I wasn't sure how to tell him that waiting on an opportunity is as draining as waiting for luck to find you. So to my classmates, when I tell you I am proud of you, I really mean it. I am proud of those of you who have chosen the military, community colleges, public school, trade school, beauty school to work, or a private college to further your education. And you must be proud of yourself for making such a tough decision. For the last four years, I wouldn't say that we've changed. I would say that we've grown. Some of you have grown to become a second parents in your household. Most of you have grown to take on two, even three jobs while being in high school. But we've all grown to become beautiful individuals who have worked through a pandemic, mental challenges, and fought for education. So to the parents, guardians, or supporters that are here this morning, please be gentle on us. And please acknowledge that opportunities don't show themselves. We have to create them. And it takes time, failure, and a couple of broken friendships. I would like to give a huge shout out to my mom and my dad for being the MVPs. Mama, I think I can see a nuke on a mia. I'm going to make it up. And and um to my oldest brother and my sister, thank you. Um, to my oldest brother and sister, thank you for laying the foundation so the expectations wouldn't fall on me. But I mean, you kind of laid it with too hard because getting honors and everything wasn't really all that well. Now I got to get honors, but thank you so much. And to my little sister, I have grown to love you. I promise that I won't trade you for a cotton candy anymore. And to my brother, you're doing amazing. I know that sometimes you may fail and I may be hard on you, but you're doing great. Take it one step at a time. My fondest and most painful memory had to be doing math with my father, with my father in third grade when I was fighting to understand the language barrier. 
between English and Ewe, it was extremely difficult. And let me tell you, you have never struggled until you've tried to do math with one of your parents. <laughs> But the point is, to those of you who are the first to graduate high school and in your family and to further that education, I am inspired by you and I understand. To those of you who are fighting through language barriers and had to figure it all through cultural shock, I understand. And those who had to physically work to somehow manage your GPA, I understand and I am very proud of you. Although I received the title of valedictorian, I don't believe that I am here in front of you this morning because I am the smartest or because I am most favored. I believe I am here because I fought to understand the definition of leadership. And here's what I've learned from seeing life from your perspectives. Life is hard and people are disappointing, but taking ownership is harder. The people you count on today will leave or change tomorrow. So prepare for disappointments but also prepare to pick yourself up right away. Sadly, it's disappointments that teach us the most. They teach us to be strong, to, keep, to be compassionate, and to be forgiving. We have all grown academically and personally. Our characters have been strengthened by our pain over the past couple of years. But here is what I have learned. I have learned that to be a leader, you must put away your pain in order to be open and taking on someone else's. Shout out to Ms. Arellis for that in AP class. Um, so this morning, I would like to give a huge shout out to those who have shown me kindness ever since I came into this building. Shout out to Priscilla, to Sabrina, to Gabriella, to Amani, and most importantly, to Ken Mendoza for always choosing kindness. I love y'all. <laughs> And please remember that you've taught me that no one can define our limitations unless we lower our expectations. And may I shout out Mr. Haldales really quickly. You guys have, man, you guys have given him a hard time. But um, he's, he's really, like, struggled in. I remember in eighth grade, I remember him being one of my teachers who held the basket and who was, like, always there for us. And I come in this year, and I see him as our assistant principal, and I find that very inspiring. I thank you for that. Um, so congratulations to the um, class of 2022, but most importantly, I want you to know that I did not fly across the sea to this country to fail, and I know you didn't either. Thank you. I our principal will present an award to our valedictorian for the class of 2022. I'm sure you can all agree that, well, I thought I was the only one crying back here, but I saw a lot of faces on, uh, you know, in the field, and I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. So, so parents and you guys. So it was a beautiful speech. Congratulations. And now, without further ado, you guys, you, you guys know what's coming up, right? I want to hear the excitement. I don't hear it. Let's begin with the presentation of diplomas for the class of 2022. Javier Alcantar. Noeli Almonte. Max Alonso Sarah Alashuga Priscilla Ampe 
Amen. Jason Molina Baez. Linda Ballesteros Perez. Yeneli Betemi Payam. Yonesi Blanco Villero. Ernesto Burgos. Sabrina Brown. Nicole Cabrera Valencia. Argenis Camacho. Raymond Campbell. Shanice Campbell. Raifi Castillo. Junior Chavez. Rocío Concepción. Michael de Jesus. Jennifer de la Luna. Luis Angel Estrella. Shiley Pegawa. Hannah Flores. Jordi Gutierrez! I'm Barney Alexa Hernandez! Bianca Hernandez. Alvaro Hidalgo. Justin Jonas. Gloria Lopez. Shailene Mandonado. 
Janine Mellow. Carlos Martin. Salamata Diallo. Ken Mendoza Martinez. Nanyeli Mercedes Concepcion. Ryan Montez. Naomi Montilla. Marlon Mori Moreno. Jaylene Mulgrave West. Nalfi's Olivo. <laughs> Tiffany Morillo. <laughs> Gabriella Ogre G04. I did it, right? I did it. Mary Jennifer Ogwe G04. <laughs> Nafis Olivo. <laughs> Santiago Osorio Huerta. Taisha Obaye. Jaline Paulino. Ellis Pena. Henry Pena Austin Payano Journey Sin Pavalta Francisco Perrin. <laughs> Veronique Lassan. Surprise, Joe. <laughs> Hector Ramirez. <laughs> Sadie Miran. Silvana Rijan. Christopher Rodriguez. Christian Rose. 
Rodriguez. And Manuel Rodriguez. Joshua Rodriguez. O'Neal Rubio. Ryan Sanchez. Got a haircut. Laris. Maria Santana. Brian Santiago. Okay. No Santos with the sunglasses. Vicaria Scarlet. Catherine Simbana. Alexandra Sosa. Nelson Tavares. Christian Tejada. Why, Gabriel? Crystal Turner. Five years ago. Angelina Thompson. You know those people? Shakira Thompson. <laughs> Damon Tinsley! <laughs> Adriano Valentin! Like that bow tie. Thais Basket! <laughs> Last but not least, not yet. <laughs> Zion Williams. Do you have any family here, Zayu? And last, but certainly not least, our valedictorian, Valenate. Now the class of 2022, please rise.
You have met all the requirements to graduate, and I now ask that you move your tassel from right to left. I am so proud to say that by the power vested in me by the New York State Department of Education, the Board of Regents, and the New York City Department of Education, I now declare you all graduates of the High School for Law and Public Service. Congratulations. Congrats. There you go, thank you. It's official class of 2022. You're a high school graduate. Congratulations and all the best in your bright future ahead. We ask that please everybody stay, well, you all remain standing as our graduates walk out the field. I just want to let you guys know that in the back, we have a backdrop ready for everybody with cake, sweets, and ready for take, to take pictures, okay? So please join us in the back. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That's a nice gonna be a good, good night. A That's a nice gonna be a That's a nice gonna be a That's a nice gonna be good, good night. That's a nice gonna be a That's a nice gonna be a Let's do it, 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 let's do it,
Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, and do it, let's do it, and do it, and do it, do it, and do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, let's do it, let's do it, do it, let's do it, do it, do it, do it, can we stop? Because we got a lot of easy to go. Time to run that money in the shop. Here we start. This is a problem. Thank you. 